Hi everybody, it's Karen Sullivan and thank you for joining me for the fifth episode of Life, Health and More. I am excited to be here with you today. I'm telling you, it's great, it's great to talk about fitness and health. And I've got a couple of things that I want to share with you today that I think you're going to be really excited about. We are in St. Louis, Missouri, and the weather has turned a little bit warmer, but in the fall, it's really the fall, and it will change soon, soon enough, okay? So I wanted to tell you that today I'm going to talk about the driving force behind when you're trying to get fit, okay? There are things that we like to do and we always end up in the same pattern. Wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, for over 20 years, I've worked with people who are trying to reach their fitness goals. Now I say fitness, I use that word a lot, but actually what they're doing is they want to lose weight. I'd say 90% of the people that I work with want to lose weight. I've had some athletes that I work with too, but everybody wants to get pounds off for any number of things, okay? So that said, I have to understand, you have to understand that when somebody is working with me, they know uh, a few things about how I work. I, I'm all in, I'm 110% in, I help people to uh, set out their plan, work their plan, and be successful. And that's what my coaching does. You might come to me and say, okay, I want to lose weight, I'm going to a wedding, or I'm going to the beach, and I already want to be thin so that I don't look horrible on the beach, or let's say a class reunion and these people haven't seen me in 20 or 30 years, and I would like to look a little bit more like I did when I saw them in school. Okay, so we'll start with the program. So my coaching is um, kind of like three different things it covers. Number one is I will give you guidance. I give you exercises to do, and it doesn't matter where you are. I can still help you with your exercises. Um, and it's just the workout kind of routine. Okay, so I give you that guidance, and um, I, I tell you uh, one thing is that you need to set up the time that you're going to commit you know you have to be right up front make the plan and go okay i'm going to work out two days a week three days a week or whatever right but you have to put that in your plan so we'll do that as we're working together making the plan and dedicating yourself to doing something okay the second thing is accountability if you're coaching with me I work with you at least once a week for your exercise, but also just talking to you and getting some feedback from you about how you feel about the program that you're doing and how your body feels and how it took to this kind of exercise or that kind of exercise, and also regarding the food. And that's the big, 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 huge thing that's really super important. I will give you expertise on all kinds of things, exercise, nutrition, diet, rest, relaxation, stress relief, because that's what I'm certified to do, okay? So let me tell you, when somebody comes to me and says, I wanna lose weight and I need to work out, and I'll say, well, how's your diet? Oh, I, I'm gonna do a diet I did 20 years ago. I really worked well for me and I got a lot of weight off and it was wonderful 20 years ago. Even in one that was five years ago, our bodies are different. Our bodies change on a regular basis. What is it, a whole, you know, seven years, every new cells or whatever, but you know, from one year to the next, we're different. So having a diet and an exercise plan that you used even last year, it might not work this time. Life is very different from year to year. So what I'm hearing somebody say is, I got this down, I can do this, and they don't wanna hear the package. There's a package that comes with coaching and working and with what you're gonna do for your body. So two things I'd like to say to you, okay? It's more than diet and exercise. 
it's more than diet and exercise. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, and this reminds me, Cheryl's here today, and I wanted to remind you guys, the person who comments the most, shares this on their timeline, will win a copy of my book, The Zen of Weight Loss, and look at this. This is an inside joke. If you guys saw last Wednesday's, Wednesday night's <laughs> cast, here we go. This is the joint cream, joint and muscle cream, relief, pain relief. It's fantastic. And I have samples of this along with a book. You can use it as a bookmark, right? But samples so that you can see how fantastic this stuff is. Anyway, the person who is most involved during this broadcast in making comments, um, then they will win this book and the cream and I'll mail it to you no matter where you are. All right, so I got off track a little bit, and I'm talking about it is more than diet and exercise. Absolutely, there is a whole lot more. The other thing that you need to hear is the results are directly proportional to the amount of work that you are willing to put into this. Honest. So if you are going to, well, I'm going to work out one day a week. Oh, I'm going to work out two days a week, and you know that's it then you may find that your results are very slow coming. And it's okay if you're comfortable with the slow results. But I gotta tell you a story. I had a lady that, gosh, this has been probably, oh, 12 years ago or so. She came into the gym. She wanted to learn about, you know, let's get in shape, let me diet and exercise, what do I need to do? And we walked in and as I started to do just a tour of the facility, she says, well, I'm never going on that one. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, can't do that. Now I'm gonna, so I was like, okay, and can you tell me why you're here? You know, hello, hello. I also had another client that worked with me for about a year. And I lived in a very, I didn't live here, I lived in a very small community. And um, she always wore, year round, she always wore a turtleneck, long sleeve, knit top with sweatpants. And even in the summer, that's how she came in. The other thing was, she had rings on all her fingers you know, beautiful rings. And I had commented that perhaps you would like to leave them home or get a pair of gloves so that you're not grabbing the weights and scratching your rings. It will ruin your rings and that, you know, you ought to just change that. Well, she never did it. And so also, she also never worked out hard because she would get hot because she was already dressed pretty warmly. And, um, and she also wouldn't work with her diet with me. She refused to eat vegetables and there were lots of other idiosyncrasies in her diet and her willingness to even make any kind of changes. And so after about a year, she had lost no weight. And I finally told her when it was time for her to buy another contract that I wouldn't train her anymore. And I'm sorry, I appreciate the time that you gave me, but this is obviously not working. And this is a small enough community that I can't afford for my business to have you out there when you've been non-compliant. And everybody looks at you and goes, well, I won't hire Karen because look at so-and-so and she hasn't lost any weight and she's been training with her for a year. Ah. But the real reason that I said that to her was not just for my reputation, but it was for her. When I am involved with patients and clients, they're not patients, they're clients, and they're really friends. And when I'm involved, I care enough to call a spade a spade and really make sure that you're getting the best that you can out of yourself. I know I'll give you everything, but out of yourself. So. That being said, it's one of those situations where everybody is bombarded by all these things, uh, articles and diet books and diet programs and everything. And I used to follow them and somebody would say, oh, I read such and such a book and I saw or I saw this at the grocery store in one of those tabloids, you know, and, um, and so I just felt like 
people were interested, so I would at least look into it. Well, I was exhausted. It was insane. So I decided, no, I'm not doing it anymore. And I went back to the source that I have always gone to for my nutritional supplementation, and that's Shackley Corporation. No if, ands, or buts about it. Now, you guys have expressed an interest in this topic, and that's why I'm here to tell you a little bit more, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, you realize that the balance of food is one of the most intricate things in your body because food affects not only um, not only whether you get heavier or lighter or anything, but there's a whole, the metabolic process is very involved and there are more, um, um, more implementations and more things involved as far as hormones than you might even realize. And back in the day when I was getting my certification, I studied what they were, but I don't remember any of that anymore. And so, but the nutritional balance is so important. And that's why I am interested and stand behind and with Shackley because of the products that they have. Okay. Now, you know that purity and potency and safety is so important. We're seeing products out there all the time that have ingredients in them that are, that are not safe for us. They've either got all kinds of garbage in them or they're some sort of a chemical formulation anyway. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole with you, but I, let me tell you, Shackley doesn't have any of it. And they are about science. Cheryl's just commented here. They are about science, which is why I am so drawn to them too. There are things that you can learn. And I talked about the health print last week. And it's something, it's a great way to get started learning about yourself is with the health, health print. And it's at uh, lifehealthmore.myshackley.com where you can go and take that health print. 20 questions, five minutes, it's free. It'll give you a really accurate reading about lifestyle and nutritional things that from your answers, from the questions that you answer. And so then you and I can look through it and sort of get a lay of the land and see where you are and see what worked for you. But the 180 program that Shackley has that's on that website I mentioned is incredible. You know, typical diets, you're going to lose fat and muscle. Well, this 180 has leucine in it and it is designed to make sure that you, when you're losing, you lose fat. Now, understand, it is not something that makes you lose fat. It helps you to keep the muscle on, see, so that as you're working out and you're eating well, the muscle will stay on and you will burn the fat. Leucine is a, um, oh, look, I'm drawing a blank. Is an amino acid? <laughs> is an amino acid and used in the supplements, it's fantastic. They have metabolic uh, boost that I use that has additional leucine that I love. And it also has, they have snack bars and snack chips and um, uh, meal bars that are fantastic for quick stuff. And it's, um, you know, grabbing something. If you don't have time for lunch, you have it. The uh, life energizing shakes are incredible. As a matter of fact, on the 15th, I am interviewing a couple who have each lost over 30 pounds using those shakes. So you guys are going to have to make sure you listen. Um, they'll be on, we'll be on live at 1 p.m. Central Time on the 15th of October. So make sure you see that and they'll tell you everything that they have learned from taking, using those shakes and working with me. Now, the reason why I'm talking so much about working with me is when you guys are involved in this program, then they, then you get my coaching. That's a $300 package that you get for, for nothing. You're just buying the product and I work with you. Okay. But 
not everybody has that. You know, this is concierge, concierge fitness that, you know, is just not out there. But because I have the expertise, that's what I'm doing. Now, if you're excited about that idea, hey, I want you to comment now and say, coach me, coach me, yay. And then we can talk about that, okay? I'll get in touch with you about it. So if I have a moment to talk about my book, The Zen of Weight Loss, I am, here's the deal. Everybody does the failing, okay? You do the coat, you do the, you do the exercise, you do the diet, you lose the weight, you gain the weight, it goes up and down. Everybody calls it yo-yo dieting. I call it roller coaster dieting because it's really, I feel a trip that takes this way and that way and up and down and maybe more down than up. And so that whole process with working with me and working with the supplementation in the 180 program that Shackley has is a win-win situation for you, honest to Pete, because the first thing that we will work on is understanding what your motivation is, your why, why you even want to lose weight. And I have a system of helping you to work through all of the stuff, the layers of stuff that is your inside motivation. I call it your heart's desire. Let's start first. Let's see. When I say, oh, somebody called me the other day and they said, I really want to get this weight off. I'm uncomfortable in my pants. And I said, okay, that's a great start. So you want your pants to be looser so you're more comfortable. Well, at that point, we talked about her pants and we talked about what, you know, why they were uncomfortable and how they fit her and what losing weight would do for her. After that initial, I want to get weight off because I really stress with people, do not tell me anything more. From that point on, you begin to, and to just go through journal about it. I'm a big journal girl. I totally believe in journals. So you begin to write your reasons of why it is that you want to do that. And then you look at it and you go, big deal. So why? So why is that important? Why is it important that the pants are looser? And then you search your heart and you find another answer and it goes deeper and then you get that answer. So if I were to set up, um, let's see, one of the scenarios that I do in the book is that um, I'm going to a class reunion and I would like to be in a size 10 when, when I get there because I wore a size 8 in high school and I think I could really do that. So class reunion, I want to be in a size 10. And then you say, why? Well, now this is all in your brain, you don't tell me. Then you say, uh, well, because I was smaller in high school and I was very shy and it made me feel uncomfortable now that I'm heavier because I'm still kind of shy, but these people don't really truly know me because I was kind of in the background. So I want to, I want to make sure I feel confident and comfortable. Oh, okay. That's a good answer. But why, why does that matter? Why do you care about what these people think? And then the more that the person would look into the whys, they would finally come out with the fact that perhaps there had something happened as a child that they were really distraught over and it sort of demoralized them and completely embarrassed them and they don't want to relive that. So they feel that the confidence that will come from having the weight off will be more. Well, you know, truthfully, that voyage from being heavy to finally getting the weight off will okay now my work is coaching i am not a therapist i'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist i'm a coach and i can that's why that work is internalized and if you have a therapist you go to that therapist could help you with that but i can certainly tell when you're lying to me <laughs> I can. And I'll ask you to just really in turn look inside and see what's really happening within you and know your why. 
Tracking your food through the journal is the second part. So journals are so important. You could buy a copy of my book, Your Perfect Food Plan. Both that and the Zen of Weight Loss are available on Amazon. Zen of Weight Loss is now in ebook form. But you can win this from me, win this from me, win, okay, by commenting, sharing, and everything, okay? So you have to be here for the shows, but I get it, you know, if you have to work, I do get it, okay? So the road that I, that I suggest for you is um, a, a very private, find out about your why, and then keeping the motivation of going, of working with your program, and understanding it's going to take it's going to take a while. It really will. Now, when people say a lifestyle change, that's another terminology that I go, well, not my favorite, not my favorite lifestyle change. Mm. It's really a life altering changes because when you are at your goal weight and your goal weight is with you forever then you no longer have to go back to the drawing board because even if you do have to go back to the drawing board you know it's it's almost like you feel like a failure okay so this life altering event that will happen as you are taking the time to to do something for yourself discovering your why is paramount because it will keep you from um, eating the cake to uh, not having the ice cream. I'll be real honest with you guys. I am an addict. I have a terrible time with fighting food or have in the past. When, during the days that I was a bodybuilder, I was, I was all about eating and purging and all that stuff. I, I am bulimic but I haven't been sick in a very, very long time. So that's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to admit like this and everybody's going to see it, but it truly is, it truly is a problem that I have. So when I'm talking about making changes, I'm talking about walking away from things like that in your history. And so it's, it's a big deal in my household that for the last probably six months, there has been a half a gallon of ice cream in my freezer in my kitchen, and I haven't had any of it. Now, not kudos to me. This is kudos to the process. This is the process that I do with people, and I've gotten to where it doesn't even bother me. And um, when my son and my husband will have a bowl of cereal, a bowl of cereal, a bowl of ice cream, it doesn't ever bother me anymore because through my journaling, I have realized that I am not able to eat it. My body can't handle it. My body can't handle milk and can't handle wheat. And so I know now, stay away from it. And then I, and so I feel better. So. I think that we can really, really learn a lot from each other. And every time I work with a client, I see um, something different about their driving, their, their driving force that is pushing them. And it helps me to understand them and helps me to understand human nature, right? Now, if you're interested in knowing more about where you stand in the fitness arena, and how you, you know, how much change you need to make for your life. I want you to comment, of course I am. Of course I'm interested in knowing that. And then go to lifehealthmore.myshackley.com and take the health print. Take it. Oh, look, we've got more people have joined us today. That's terrific. So if you also know, if you order today, oh, I had forgotten. I've decided this. Oh my goodness. But if you order today, then um, go in and order the 180 plan today and get, you know, get, get the whole plan that they have with some of the shakes as well as the metabolic boost and the, some of the um, bars, the snack chips and everything. 
I'll get you lined up to work with me. Become a member and you save an additional 15%. Absolutely wonderful. And then if you do that, then I'll send you a copy of my book. For those of you that have the book, we'll work something else out, okay? But I think that you need to recognize that if dieting has not helped in the past and if you are not at your forever sustainable fitness level and you still have work to do then I think you should entertain the idea of doing this program because remember Shackley has 100% money back guarantee even if you use the product and you are not able to lose any weight or it doesn't make you happy if you're not satisfied you do get your money back but I know this is a win-win guys with my coaching and using that product line you will be amazed with yourself because it will be ding just that aha moment always works Shackley always works and also with health issues but we'll learn more of that about that another day so if there's anything else that you'd like to say please comment here thyroid issues and health issues oh Deborah's talking about thyroid I'm telling you we can talk about that Deborah we need to have a sit down okay thank you so much for coming today be well my friends